Hey Defenders, welcome back. And if you've been following along with my videos for a while, most of them are technical deep dives, but today's gonna be a little different. This video is more concept driven. We're going to walk through what our stack is composed of and more importantly, why we chose each tool and how they work together to build a complete modular seam solution. I promise there is a method to the madness. But before we dive in, a quick disclaimer, this isn't the only way to build an open source seam, but it's the method that's worked best for us and our team. And it's based on real world challenges, lessons learned, and lots of tinkering along the way. Believe me, lots of tinkering. And of course, huge shout out to the open source community and all the developers who make these tools available. This stack wouldn't be possible without you. So let's start with the pain. If you've ever tried building a modern seam to empower your SOC team, you've probably ran into some of these challenges. First off, commercial seams and SOAR platforms can be ridiculously expensive. I'm talking high five to six finger annual licensings just to get started. Second, they're often locked down. You get what the vendor gives you and really kind of good luck trying to customize or integrate with anything outside of their ecosystem. Third, teams struggle to get a clear picture across all of their tools. Maybe one tool sees firewall logs, another sees endpoint alerts, another portal relays their antivirus detections, but no one's really connecting the dots. And getting started with integrating with outside systems such as like Jira, email, et cetera, can be difficult depending on what access to the platform you have available. So how did we approach it differently? So the SOC Fortress stack is modular. That means we don't rely on one mega tool to do everything. Believe me, if there was a mega tool that did everything, I'd be first in line. But instead, we use best in class open source tools, each solving a specific challenge from endpoint visibility to log enrichment to dashboards, automation, response, you name it. This approach fits into any environment from a small IT team to a full-blown MSSP. And because the tools are open, we can connect them together and involve the stack as our needs change, which allows us to build a seam stack ecosystem that is capable of all challenges that we see SOC teams facing. But before we get further into that, I want to share with you a little bit of my journey. So like a lot of you, my open source journey started with a problem that my manager posed to me stating that we needed security visibility, but didn't have the budget for commercial tools. So after some research, I stumbled upon Wazoo. That gave me a great foundation for monitoring endpoints, but then I hit a wall with log parsing and ingesting events from our network devices. So then I brought in Greylog. I wanted dashboards, so then I stumbled upon Grafana. I needed deep incident response capabilities for our SOC team, which led me then to discovering Velociraptor. We then had too much manual work, so enter in some automation with Shuffle. I then eventually needed a way to bring all these tools together within a single interface. And that's when I built Copilot. So Copilot ties everything together and lets analysts actually manage alerts and cases, onboard clients, all without jumping across six different portals. And Wazoo is where it all starts. Wazoo is the agent-based platform that is phenomenal at collecting logs and monitoring what's happening on each endpoint. It's capable of tracking file changes, user logins, processes starting, network connections, DNS queries, basically all telemetry that we want to gather from our endpoints. It's lightweight, reliable, and gives us a solid detection framework. But on its own, it doesn't handle all log types well, especially when it comes to firewall logs. And in my opinion, it lacks flexible log normalization. And that's where our next component comes in, Greylog. So Greylog is our log brains of the platform. It collects logs from all kinds of sources, from firewalls, the Wazoo manager itself, routers, any other syslog forwarders via cloud platforms. And it not only normalizes our events and stores them within different data buckets, but one of the really powerful features with Greylog is the ability to enrich our logs within real time. And one example for that is enriching our ingested events from Threat Intel, GeoIP Intelligence, or any other context from third-party systems or even custom-built APIs, all within real time. 
Graylog is also great for our multi-tenancy design and also our long-term retention. But it's not meant to be our detection engine when it comes to our endpoints. That's still Wazoo's job. And with all this data coming in, we need a way to actually see it. And that's where Grafana comes in. Grafana helps us visualize alert trends, SOC KPIs, and anything else we care about, whether it's what's happening now or what happened last month. Grafana lets us build dashboards that make sense for our team and for our clients. What I personally really like about Grafana is the high level of customization as well as the out of the box data sources that you can plug Grafana into. Grafana, of course, plugs into our Wazoo indexer to read data that's ingested into our platform, but you can also connect it with MySQL databases. You can even leverage Grafana to make REST API requests. It is a very powerful tool that gives us the flexibility to render data in any type of way that our clients are asking for. Velociraptor is one of my favorite tools in the stack. It gives us live remote visibility into our endpoints without needing to remote in manually. So if you want to look at the Chrome history, if you want to dump memory, query the registry, hunt for any other artifacts, you can do that all from Velociraptor. It's built for speed and for scale. And while it's not a detection engine, it's the perfect tool for once your stock analyst has a lead on an alert and needs to investigate deeper, it gives them the resources to do just that. To come to a conclusion of a true positive, false positive, and even giving them the ability to quarantine the endpoint if needed. Then we have Shuffle, which serves as a part of our automation engine. So Shuffle helps us tie everything together. It allows us to not only automate components internally within our Seam stack, but also to connect our Seam stack to external tools such as Jira, VirusTotal, email gateways, all through accessing their open APIs. And this is really where the stack goes from being reactive to more of proactive. And then that brings us to our own open source application developed by Sock Fortress, and that is called Copilot, the interface that aims to bring everything together. So instead of having your analysts live in five different browser tabs, they can manage alerts, triage cases, run cloud sequence specifically for MSSPs and growing API driven and meant to evolve as your stack grows. So now that we have a little better understanding of each component in action, here's how it all connects together. So at the top here, we have our, what I like to refer as like our data sources, right? The Seam stack is not going to make up data. That data has to come from somewhere, whether that's from our Linux, Mac OS, or Windows endpoints, or if that's ingesting data from our firewalls and other network devices, or if that's connecting our Seam stack with other third-party SaaS solutions, such as Office 365, Mimecast, AWS, you name it, whatever, whatever data you're wanting to ingest into the Seam stack. When it comes to our endpoints, whether that be Linux, Mac OS, or Windows, the Wazoo Manager is going to ingest those events via the Wazoo agent that runs on the endpoints. That those logs are then sent via an encrypted log stream to the Wazoo Manager where all of our detection rules exist. When it comes to other devices, such as our network devices, these logs are going to be sent directly to Greylog via normally a syslog forwarding. Then when it comes to our third-party services, here we can have a hybrid of both. For example, Wazoo's Office 365 module is a very good module and is one that we leverage and is built directly into Wazoo itself. However, when it comes to other SaaS applications like Mimecast, Cloudflare, et cetera, for those, we like to build, we like to ingest those directly into Greylog, depending on how the SaaS application forwards events. Some cloud providers can send to a syslog input, others are others provide API endpoints that we can pull alerts from. So the important thing is to note that nothing is off limits. If there's some type of syslog forwarding, the log is written to a file, or there's API endpoints, we can ingest that data into the Seam stack. Again, hitting on the modularity of the Seam stack that we provide. So our logs are being ingested. They're either hitting the Wazoo Manager or Greylog. And what happens to them after that? Well, Greylog is doing a lot of processing. You'll notice here too that the Wazoo Manager is also forwarding its logs directly to Greylog. So Greylog is the workhorse for all of our logs. All of our logs are hitting Greylog where the 
log normalization, any data enrichment that we want to add, all that is occurring directly within Greylog. Greylog is then going to output all of our logs and store those within the Wazoo indexer. So Greylog is not storing any data itself. It's simply ingesting logs, doing what it needs to do, and then when it's time to store them, they are stored within the Wazoo indexer. Then when we want to visualize that data, Grafana plugs directly into the Wazoo indexer. So our Grafana dashboards are essentially making search queries against the Wazoo indexer to retrieve the information that our dashboard has been configured to, to display. Here we also have Velociraptor. And Velociraptor is the incident response tool that gives our SOC analysts the ability to investigate endpoints. So these endpoints, along with a Wazoo agent, they also have a Velociraptor client running on them that connects to the Velociraptor server running within the Seam stack. So our endpoints at the end of the day will have two agents. They'll have our Wazoo agent, which sends all of our logs to the Wazoo manager. And then when a SOC analyst needs to investigate an endpoint further, that communication is handled by the Velociraptor client and the Velociraptor server. We then have Shuffle, which connects to all of the Seam Stacks API. So one of the driving factors that goes into us incorporating a new open source tool as a component within the Seam Stack is, does it provide a rich set of API endpoints that we can leverage for automation? And all of these tools that you see here that make up our Seam Stack do in fact have these rich API endpoints, which Shuffle enables us to plug into each of these endpoints to configure whatever automation workflows or playbooks that you are looking to automate within the Seam Stack. Shuffle is also leveraged to connect to other external systems so that nothing is off limits from receiving data from our Seam Stack. So whether that's integrating with other client softwares or other ticketing systems, nothing is off limits when it comes to what our Seam Stack can also send data out to. Lastly, we have Copilot, which like Shuffle leverages all of the components API endpoints to enable customer onboarding. Uh, we built an alert and case management platform into Copilot to generate reporting, to run health checks. So Copilot is like our central control center for all the components of our Seam stack. So that is the SOC Fortress stack. It's a solution built from experience, powered by open source, and really designed for real teams with real needs. We believe in flexibility, transparency, and community, and you don't need to be locked into a bloated, expensive platform to have a great security platform. And if this sounds like something you'd like to explore further, please reach out, visit SockFortress.co or connect with us on YouTube or LinkedIn. And that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I appreciate your time. Keep defending and I will see you in the next one.